I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and on this episode of The DJ How To, we are going to be taking a look at a different way to preview songs while you're DJing. Now, many of you within Virtual DJ know about the sandbox mode, but we are not going to be talking about sandbox mode today. We'll talk about that on a future episode. But today, we're going to take a look at something a lot simpler that allows you to preview your songs that are in the browser area without messing with anything that's playing above. Now, if you're a mixed DJ, which a lot of us are, you're going to have a song playing in one deck and you're gonna have another song queued up in another and in your mind you're probably gonna have a couple other songs that you might want to get ready to play but with one song playing on one deck and another song queued up on another it doesn't give you an option unless you add a third or fourth deck to preview songs that you want to be playing in the future so let's say we have the song on the right deck playing and we're gonna put the song on the left deck into a loop mode and therefore we're ready we have this song playing with the volume up this song looping ready to go for the next time with the volume down so now we still want to preview so if you are in cue mode of the headphones depending on whether you're using split cue or regular cue you're gonna be hearing this song and this song this one's gonna be going out to the main speakers this one is only gonna be heard in the headphones but we want to preview some of these tracks so one of the things virtual did is down here in the info area it gets you a chance with this little pop out to look at the different information that's about the song that you have highlighted and it will change depending on what song you have there and one of the cool things is is that whatever you have highlighted with this area here you can preview the songs just by pressing play and there are little different setups that you can do with this to determine how the songs are going to be played but you still can scrub forward backward anytime and this is not heard out in the main speaker it's only going to be heard in the headphones so a couple of the settings are right here on this side. You can have pre-listened controls turned on or off. If you don't like them, you can actually turn them off if you want. Uh, you can stop on change, start at 50%. That means that it starts right in the middle or starts wherever you had there. Um, you can edit stuff from the information area too. And in this field area right here that gives you a pop-off off, off to the side, it will let you look at the different kind of information on there. And you can choose what information you want to have. So I'm going to stop these two songs for just a second here. And in this area, you're going to watch me, and I'm going to change the songs here. And as I change the songs, you'll see them uh, populate in here and then play. I'm going to set it to play automatically and stop on change. So I'm going to have this song here. I'm going to play. So it would be previewing in the headphones, and then I switch, and it stops. So it's not previewing in the headphones. So if I switch to the next one and press play, I can preview the song if I want it on wherever I want to preview it at. Hit the next one, it stops. So we can have that so that it doesn't do that. So as I'm playing this song to preview and I switch songs, it immediately starts previewing the next song. It immediately starts previewing the next song. And if I take off the 50%, then the same thing. I can scrub from here, go to the next song. It picks up from wherever I left that off. I can scrub forward or backwards, click on the next song, and it all goes on there. And this all happens in real time while you have this song playing. And this song right here is set up in queue to be listened to. So right now, if you were had the cue buttons, the, the, the pre-fader listen buttons, if you want to call them that, set up, you would be able to hear this song in one, this in the other. In the process of setting this up, you're going to be able to hear this song now playing in the headphone. But if you shut the pre-fader pre listen off the cue, you're now going to be hearing this in there and this, but not your left side deck in the headphones. Okay, so let me give you an example of how all this would work in real time. So down here we have our controller. This is the basic four channel controller. This is the Denon MC7000, which just happens to be my favorite controller. We have a zoomed in area right here in the center, which shows our cue and headphone and split button, so you know what's going on there. This is a full view of the top deck. This is a kind of zoomed in area of that pop out area for the preview. This is our out speakers that everyone is gonna be hearing our mains and our headphones. So if we have this deck here playing with the volume up and this deck here queued up with the volume down, what would be happening is that we would be hearing the song, it's in the right deck, 
coming into the speakers and the song that is in the left deck will be going into the headphones. Now, depending on how you have these buttons here pressed is also going to be depending on what you hear. So if you have the split cue pressed and this one pressed down, so now what's going to be is this song here is going to be playing into the main speaker and you will be hearing it in the right ear and this song you'll be hearing in the left ear and that's what split cue is it lets you hear fully one song in one ear one song in the other so now if you have this set up with the split cue and you press play on the preview up here what you're then gonna hear is this in that ear along with the other deck but if you turn off the split cue on this side right here we're gonna shut it off so we only have split cue going on this song remember is playing out into the main it's playing into the right ear and because it's off you're not hearing the left deck at all what you are hearing is this song in the left ear so while you do have this setup ready to play this is playing you now can hear this in the headphones to see what songs you want to preview and that's pretty much how all of this works so there you have all the information you need to use that pop out area to preview the tracks so that while the other two are going on and the crowd is dancing and you're getting ready to cue you can go song by song and take a listen to some of these and then decide hey I really like this song right here I want to play it in a bit and you can drag it down into your holding area and you're ready to go well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of VDJ How To. We will have lots more in the future with all kinds of information. Some will be very detailed and complex. Other ones will be quite simple. But if there's anything you would like to see me cover, feel free to drop me a line. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless. <laughs>